Ooh, man, what's up with y'all boys, man? So look, as you become more select, women gonna try to lock you down, all right? A lot of y'all boys probably like, yo, Adil, that's a good thing, right? Yeah, it's a good thing, man, but if you're the type of dude, man, you just wanna fuck bitches, man, like you just wanna fuck hoes, this is gonna become annoying because you gotta know, bro, when you becoming more select, it's not gonna be too many dudes out here like that. And as a result, imagine, bro, if you check all the boxes, right, as a man, you in shape, you making bread, you look good, right? Dog, women gonna try to lock you down. And what, sometimes what they might do is they're gonna try to hold off on the pussy on the first night. This has happened to me a lot. Chicks, they wanna get to know you more because they see you as like a, as a dude to procreate with, you understand me? It's not that they see you as a beta male, but they see you as a catch. You understand? So they don't, they don't wanna give it to you, give it up on the first night. That's just how they think, but they stupid. Because for us, man, if a chick give it up to me on the first night, nigga, I'm more inclined to keep her around me. You understand? She not with the games, man. That's a chick I'm gonna keep around me. But chicks is fucked up, man. But anyways, I'm gonna give y'all a story real quick, man. Actually, I talked about this chick in my previous videos, man. One of my first videos, I talked about it. Anyways, man, this chick got DM'd on IG, right? And, um... I didn't fuck her the first night, man, you know? I tell you, man, you take a bitch on a workout. You wanna see, I invited her to the gym and we had legs that day. And we vibing, man, had, you know, had a good conversation, man, had a good time, and um, we, I didn't fuck the first night, right? I hit her up, I think it was like maybe a month or two months went by, right? I hit her up again. She went on vacation, so she came back, and I was like, yo, um, she got me a gift and shit, right? And I was like, yeah, bring me the gift and uh, come over, right? Anyway, she came over, man, we smashed. Um, but just off of that, bro, you, you can notice that she gave me a gift off red, bro. She gave me some expensive ass cologne. Bro, I didn't even fuck the bitch yet. But anyways, man, I fucked her, right? After that, dog, I noticed, man, she wanted to do more like, how can I say it, man? She, she, she wanted me, she wanted me to see her in a different light. But I knew she was a hoe because I ain't gonna lie, bro. When I fucked her and I seen the pussy, bro, like the pussy look worn out. You don't know fucking like, when, dog. When it's some real gay, though. It, it's really basic, basic. It's common sense too. But when you see a bitch's pussy man the lips, when this shit is just like, it's just loose. You want to seem like it just look worn out. You know that bitch got a lot of mileage on it. Not just that, but when we fucking, you can tell the way a bitch fuck me. You can tell she got experience or not. And this chick, man, like, she was on all sorts of shit. So I knew this wasn't her first time. Not even close to her first time. But anyways, I could tell she a hoe. I could tell she'd been around the block a couple times, man. You understand? And she was trying to get wifey with me. But my thing is like, nah, bitch, I don't wanna, I don't wanna cuff you up. I, I want you to be a hoe just like you was a hoe to all the other dudes. Why is it different with me? I get it, though. Because she see... She sees what you're doing. You gonna notice, bro, that hoes, bitches that straight sluts, they gonna try to hold off on a pussy on you or go give it to some bum-ass motherfucker. Cause you already know, the bum-ass motherfucker, he, he, he ain't going nowhere in life. He ain't got nothing going on. But if she sees you going, you know, you doing your thing, you making money, all this shit, if she gonna hold off and <clears throat> hold off on the box. Not to say you a beta male or nothing, bro, but that's, she she wanna she wanna keep you around. She see you as a catch. You understand? So me personally, man, I don't look man, I'm not gonna say it's a bad thing, but I'm trying to fuck right now, man. I ain't trying to cuff, I ain't trying to settle down or nothing, man. So chicks gonna try to play that with you, man. You understand? And it's something you're gonna have to deal with. Or just don't deal with it all, man. Just move on to the next bitch. But it's funny though, man, because it's like, nah, bitch, I want you to be a hoe, just like you was a hoe to somebody else. But chicks, they're gonna try to recreate themselves, man. They're gonna try to get ran through the early 20s, even their teens, right? And they see you as a select man. She gonna try to cover up everything. She gonna try to cover up her tendencies and make her seem like she a good girl now. She changed me as a select man. Nah, bitch, I want you to be a hoe. I want you to be the same chick that you was before. That's what I want now. Because that's all I'm doing. Trying to, that's all I'm trying to do is fuck. You understand me? 
even to this day, bro, she's trying to buy me more shit, man, more gifts, man. I'm just like, yo, like, I'm cool with the gifts, man. I ain't trying to take too much, man. She gonna get too comfortable, man. Or I said, but shit, I, I take some gifts, though. You understand? But, um, yeah, bro, she started inviting me to, like, to do, like, boyfriend, girlfriend shit. You understand me? She wanted me to go to, like, festivals and shit with her, man, like, at the park and all this other shit. And, um, I ain't got nothing. I ain't got nothing against going out with you, but I'm gonna keep it a buck. I don't want to go out with you. I'm just trying to fuck you. I don't even want to. To be honest with you, I ain't trying to do the date shit with you. I'm trying to smash. You understand? Like I know she was a hoe, and you gonna notice, man. Like, dude, how you know she's a hoe, man? Like, first off, my nigga, if you fuck, <laughs> I'm saying, look at the pussy lips, man. That bitch look worn and look like fucking roast beef. You want to tell me? Pastrami, you know that fucking pussy worn out, man. That shit loose. It's in her first, you know, it's in her first rodeo. That's what they call it. Your first rodeo. Or her first rodeo. You want to stand? So, not just that, bro, but I ain't gonna lie. That bitch, man, like, chicks, man, they gotta stay where they do what they, when they fucking, bro. They get this grip on your dick, dog. When you smash him, they got this the pussy grip. They call that shit fucking it's like, dog. They they and, she, and, she, and she, that bitch, bro. She knew what she was doing. I ain't even gonna cap. Like she knew what she was doing, right? So, and I, and I ran into this man on multiple instances, man. Chicks that try to come back and do want me to take them seriously now. You understand? New chicks, they see you as a prize, man. They see you as a catch, and they want to hold off on it because they know they they're not gonna find too many dudes out here, man. That that's checking all the boxes, right? That's why you gonna hear some dudes, man. They gonna say, "Hey, bro, I got more pussy back when I was broke, or I ain't have shit." And it's facts, dog, man. I talked about it too, man. I'm still not even making really, really good money. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. We really we still out here, man. We struggling, you know. But uh, we making it happen, man. I ain't gonna say I'm struggling, man, but it's not. The shit ain't sweet out here, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, hey, bro, it's a grind. It's tough. You wanna see me? So it's not much out, man. You wanna see me? I ain't perfect. But, um, yeah. But she gonna go bust it open for a dude that's a bum, though, right? But if she wants you to take it seriously, right? And don't fall for that trap. As a dude, you can't fall for that trap, man. You gotta see through these bitches. Uh, you gotta read energy, man. You can tell it. You can you can you, you can spot a hoe when you when you see a hoe. You can spot a hoe. You understand me? You don't take that. You don't take a genius, man. You 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 know what it is, man. She gonna try to get ran through in her twenties, man. Come back to you later on in life, talking about. She gonna try to you know she wants you to take her on these dates, man. And there's all this other shit. So just keep that in mind, man. You know, I was doing this. I did an experiment, man, the other day, right? I was like, I want to see how chicks are going to treat me, man, if I just go into a store, man, with baggy-ass clothes. And I did, right? And you know what I noticed? I noticed that when I come in with my, like, I'm wearing a tank top, I'm wearing sleeves, you know, just my shit, my workout gear, people are so nervous, Right? And when I was wearing baggy ass clothes, right? I was doing groceries one day. It wasn't even baggy ass clothes, man, but I was just wearing like pump covers, man. You understand me? So you can see the physique, but like not as much. And um, people still were nervous, man, but they were way more comfortable. Like, okay, oof. It's like a sigh, like it's like a relief. Like, okay, he's not competition. Or man, he's, you know, he's not a, he's not a threat. That's really what it is, dog. Like, I'm trying to tell you about when you dress like a bum, you look like a bum, and you go out in public, people don't see you as a threat. The minute you start looking like you something, that's when people got a problem with you. You understand me? People was, and it was funny, man. That day, I, I did it like, let me just see. And I noticed a big difference. Versus when I, you know, I wear workout gear, man. Everybody's so, like, you know, they, they, they so nervous to even talk to you. And they pretend like they don't see you. And certain chicks, they want to get attitude, right? Chicks want to get attitude because they see you up here and they down here. And they know you're not going to go for the bullshit, right? But we dress like a bum, they're more inclined to talk to you. 
when you fat as fuck, they more inclined to talk to you. That's not all the time, man. You know certain chicks, man, but I was just trying to make a point, man. But yeah, man, guys, either way, man, like the point of this video, we're not gonna stop becoming select, man. Let's let's fucking keep we gotta we gotta keep our foot on the gas. Like I tell you guys, man, never let up. You gotta keep fucking going, man. You understand me? And just know it's gonna come with it. You understand? But you want chicks to try to lock you down. That's that's in her nature, man. You understand? But don't try to hold off on the pussy. Cause I know you a hoe. And I know you've been around the block. So just like you was a hoe for them, I want you to be a hoe for me. That's just what it is. Don't get tricked into that shit, man, all right? So look, man, that's it for this video, man, guys. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. If you guys need one-on-one training with the boy, man, you need a consultation, man, yo, click the link, but it's free. Just come talk with me. How many dudes are going, oh, how many dudes going to give you a free consultation? You feel me? So look, man, with that being said, though, I'm out of here.